Now let's go into the basics of actually annotating and working on a project. Here we're going to talk a little bit about excerpts and how excerpts uh, create automatic links. We're going to talk about automatic excerpts, comments, highlights, tags, and our famous pinch collapse gesture. To begin with, let's talk about Liquid Text's famous excerpt feature. So suppose I want to create an excerpt here. I just select some text and, of course, drag it out, just like I did earlier in the demo. Now, you all, as you know, as I talked about earlier, the, uh, the arrow button here takes you back to the source. But you might wonder, what is this little teal line? The teal line actually goes the opposite direction. Wherever I am, I can select this and get right back to my excerpt. So the links that Liquid Text creates are bi-directional, which is really, really handy. Um, now let's say we go on. I suppose I want to create another excerpt here. Well, maybe I don't want to manually drag it. What a lot of people like is using our auto excerpt feature. With, with auto excerpt, you just select the text, tap auto excerpt, and Liquid Text will bring out an excerpt right below your previous excerpt. So this is good when you're in a hurry. Uh, next, let's talk about comments. So for example, I select this text and I decide this is a good idea. I can tap comment and write good idea, of course. And Liquid Text creates the comment. Now, one of the nice things about our comments is that you can also drag these off from the document and bring them into the workspace. But the comment still retains its link back to its source. Likewise, if I say highlight this comment red, the source becomes red as well. Uh, it goes the other direction also. So if I've already, let's say, highlighted something yellow, and I say, create a comment on this. The comment inherits uh, the color of the, uh, of the text that was highlighted originally as well. So again, we try to make it really easy to organize your comments, organize your thoughts, uh, without necessarily having to leave them attached to your document. This gives you a lot more control and a lot more flexibility over uh, how you want to organize things. OK. Now, speaking of highlights, let's talk a little bit about that. So of course, I can highlight just by selecting, selecting some text and tapping any of the highlight buttons here. Let's say like blue. OK. Now, on the iPad, you can actually uh, set what your favorite colors are here. I believe, uh, I believe that either is, is available on Windows or coming soon. Uh, so for example, let's say I want this sort of uh, uh, dark gray color as one of my favorites. I can just select it and drag it and replace yellow with dark gray. OK, excellent. Now, um, additionally, rather before that, I'll mention if you ever want to get rid of a highlight, you can simply double tap it and select the no highlight button. And it goes away. Great. Now let's talk a little bit about tags. Tags are similar to highlights, but they actually have an explicit semantic, uh, semantic content. So let's click on tags here in the pop-up menu. And we don't have any yet, so I'll click more. And I'll say, let's say we make a tag important. And let's give that a little bit of a darker color here, make that a dark green, and click Add. And you see it highlights the text, puts a little bar here to indicate that it's a tag. And if I click it, you see it shows uh, the, the contents of the tag. Now, wherever I am later on, I can select some text, select tags, and it'll actually show me uh, my most recent few tags. So this is very useful because it means I can tag things really quickly as I go through my document. Maybe we'll add another text or another tag here, reread. Very nice. So now I can just select some text and just select whichever tag I happen to want in that case. Very nice. And of course, finally, we have our famous pinch collapse gesture. Now, the way pinch collapse works, I kind of demonstrated it for you briefly, but I'll do, a little, do it a little bit more carefully here. With pinch collapse, you take two fingers and you actually squeeze the document together. So in this case, I'm going to put one finger up here, one finger down here, and I'll pull my bottom finger towards my top. And you see what happens? The document just squeezes together, has inertia, very easy. Uh, on the other hand, if I pull my top finger towards the bottom, it goes the other way. You see, and I start crunching the text together or the other direction. This is great for comparing things on different pages side by side. When you're done, you can simply tap this little, uh, disc, this little uncollapse button here and the text on collapses. Now, one other thing I'll note about collapse is uh, you see what, that when I collapse, the scroll, your scroll bar on the side actually ends up with two little thumb handles. Uh, that's so that you can drag one of them independently of the other 
and keep your collapse where it is and just scroll part of the document. This is great if you want to say collapse a very large amount of text together. Okay. Excellent. All right, so this is the basics of the liquid text editor. We talked about creating excerpts and links, auto excerpting, comments, highlights, tags, and our famous pinch collapse.